Mm-hmm. How y'all doing today? Right. Today, I'd like to introduce this baseball to you guys. Uh, this baseball here, ladies and gentlemen, is not just an ordinary baseball. This baseball actually opened my eyes to a brand new sport that I never tried before. I first started, well, I first started, before I started playing baseball, I played basketball, football, all the regular sports. I was never really interested in baseball until one day my mom actually told me about it because she told me she used to play when she was young, was softball. And I never, like, when it came on TV, I never, like, paid attention to it. I changed the channel because I thought it was a boring sport. It really wasn't that much interesting to me. And I remember, I just remember, like, hearing the little plays and stuff like that. You, like, you learn a little bit, but I never really, like, paid attention to it really on TV. Until when, when I went on, it was back in middle school, I went to Florida for, like, summer vacation. And me and my cousin, we decided to do something together while we was down there. And we decided to p- pick a sport, but we both played football and basketball, so we was like, we don't want to do that anymore, but something new. So we decided to go in for baseball, and it was for like three months over the summer, and like we trained together and all that stuff. We prepared for like a little season. It was like about like five, six games in that little season, and our team was terrible. Like <laughs> we did not do like anything. Like you like average like one run a game. Like it was just terrible. And I remember our coach, he was telling us, like, it's okay, like, not like telling us, like, losing is good, but he was like, okay, like, you will learn to win, like, build up a win or something like that. We was like, okay. But we still found it, like, boring. Like, we would sit there, like, we would lose, so we were, like, we didn't even care no more. Like, our team was just trash. So we decided to, like, me and my cousin, we stayed back and helped each other practice, like, throwing the ball, hitting, like, batting cages and all that to get – ourselves to get better so we can at least try to win at least one game that season and so like and then most people like they say baseball is boring and I really agree with them it took before I even started playing baseball and sometimes I still agree now to this day that it's boring because mostly the score is like really low like every time you see a baseball game it'd be like low scores maybe less than 10 it's very long like a baseball game is like three to four hours and like it's just like the length and how quiet it is. Like you, you barely hear anybody cheering unless you so many scores or run or it just hits the ball. That's the only time you hear so many cheering in a baseball game. And like even some people said like, like famous people that play baseball, you barely hear their names because like they're like, first of all, like a roster is kind of like, it's about like, I think about like 20 some people on an MLB team, like a major league team. And like, there's usually like one or two people that's famous on that team. And if you get striked out, you barely hear about that person. So like, you only get like three tries. And like, a lot of baseball to me, is like, it's one of the most difficult sports I ever played. Like, because there's so many different types of pitchers out there. There's, there's so many types of pitchers, like a screwball, a fastball. I played against some people that do like a hundred and like five mile per hour fastball. And that's like hard to like, swing at anything you just strike out all the time and like Dan Peterson said which which is one of the uh he's like an announcer for baseball he says hitting a baseball is one of the hardest things to do in sports and I totally agree with that statement and he was like like the visual of trying to make eye contact and like swing at the same time because a pitch can be from 70 to 100 miles an hour and nowadays you got people throwing the ball like 110 like I was watching the uh the World Series, you know, the pitcher was like throwing for like 105, like each throw. I was like, how does the shoulder not mess up? But I don't know. But how how did baseball, how did this baseball and baseball come really important to me? Because it was it, it was the second to last last game that we had, and we still was like winless. We didn't win a game at all the OT but before that game, and I was up next at bat, and I was nervous. But me and my cousin, we practice all the time swinging and throwing at the batting cages and whatever. And so I was like, the first time the pitcher threw the ball, I I swung and I missed. The second time I hit it up, which was a foul ball. So it was one and one. And the third time when you threw the ball, and I, I finally hit it, and it finally went over the fence. We got I got my first home run ever playing baseball mm-hmm. that game. I was so excited. And we won because of that home run. Mm-hmm. It was 1-0. That was the final score. That was mm-hmm. what I was like. I was like, about time. And that 
that's the same ball because my coach at the end of the game, he gave me that ball for mm -hmm. like basically like a trophy for saying like good job. Mm -hmm. And like, it was like a, I guess like a ticket, I guess whatever, like a trophy, whatever. Even though we was winning, well, we won that game. We was like one in five, something like that. And like, hearing like the crack of the bat when they hit the ball, that really like, like cheered me up. Like, it cheered up the whole team because we finally done, we accomplished something. We did, at least we found one goal to do that whole season. And that forever made like memorable. So every time I look at the baseball, I just think of winning that game for our team, at least doing something for my team. Mm -hmm. So for my conclusion before, like base, baseball, I used to believe it was like a boring sport. I never paid attention to it. I thought it was like dumb. But after playing it and watching it more, like watching baseball evolve, I really think like it's like one of the most difficult sports ever because you got good motor skills, you gotta have good hand eye contact, like coordination and everything. And like my whole attitude towards baseball after that just changed. And now sometimes I might watch I watched the game, like I watched the whole World Series this year, like mm -hmm. I watched the whole thing. And like the old saying goes, Don't knock something until you try it. So like don't if you had never tried you can't talk bad about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening to me.